to my G Baby and I Good To You guitar lesson in chord melody style. You can download all the tabs, the backing tracks, all the lesson material from the link down below in the description box. Please also visit my lesson shop Guitar Versum for more lessons like this one. And now let's get started. We're in the key of C and we have an AABA song form with only four bars each of these sections. So we all together have 16 bars. That's rather short. Also, there's many repetitions. So this is kind of easy to learn. Let's get started with uh, the A1 section. We start with a C7 up here, guide tone voicing. That means just the third and the seventh in the chord. Uh, eight, eight, nine. Then I slide into that C on top of here bridge down to the G and the A flat. Then we have an A flat 9, uh, 11, 10, 11, 11, going to the E flat and the F. The rhythm is kind of important here, so try to copy this. Going to G7, a standard cowboy chord, uh, 10, 9, 10, 8. Then um, ninth fret, seventh fret, and that leads me to the C9 chord here. So that's seven, eight, seven, eight, eight. We don't have a root in here. Here is the root. Always memorize uh, your virtual root so you can uh, move your voicings up and down the neck. Two strums on this one, and then the F7. That's uh, the fourth degree of the scale. We're kind of in a short form blues here in C. So this is the fourth scale degree, uh, eight, seven, eight here. Guide some voicing again. And then we have the flat nine, ninth in a melody. I could have played, but I wanted to slide into that and keep this ringing. So I'm, uh, I lift my index finger you can still hear the rest of the chord ringing. So I thought this is the best solution. Glide from the F to that F sharp. Twice. Then the E flat already lying here. B flat 13. 6, 6, 7, 8. The G again on top. And then slide from F to E flat. And you let it ring and add the rest of the chord. That's the uh, E flat six. Now suddenly we're in C minor or E flat. Um, so that's, uh, what is it? Six, five, five, six. And in order to get to the upcoming G seven guide tone voicing, I make a bass line in the key of C minor actually. So that's, um, the 6th fret, the 4th fret, the B flat, A flat, and G, and then I add the rest of the G7 chord. That's uh, the 3rd and the 4th here. Right? So uh, that was the uh, first A section. I'm gonna play this at slow tempo now for you, so you can follow along. 3, 4. A2 section is the same as the A1 section, the first three bars at least, and the last bar is changed. So coming from that B flat 13, we also go now to the E flat 6, that's the same. And then I kind of do a rhythm thing. One triplet. I have, this is uh, a real groovy thing. Triplet. Then you have the uh, E flat 7. Six five six four. Play twice. First play all strings. Then the second time I only play the upper three strings. And again this triplet. So only the second of of three triplet notes is played. The rest is uh, paused. Triplet. Okay. So that entire second ending. Ah, sorry. Yeah. 
Uh, let me repeat the entire A2 section for you. Three, four. If you're into that kind of playing style, I may recommend to you um, my starter packs for blues and chord melody. Uh, each of them has uh, five easy lessons in them for bass value. I put a link up or down here somewhere and you go check it out. It's a really great deal. And here is the B section. We are now in A flat and we have an A flat 6 chord here, A flat. F and B flat, only up until the G string. Then I slide from the fifth to the sixth string of the B string. Play it again. Five, six. I'll leave this here and shape an A diminished chord around it. So that's A, um, F sharp and C. Um, and play everything with that F included. So that's A diminished flat 13 to be exact. I lift this up and have the fourth uh, fret here, the E flat, then the seventh and the sixth. The seventh lasts a little longer, right? Both both uh, chords. I think this is the trickiest part of uh, my arrangement here. It's it's getting easier again. <laughs> So now we have an E flat six. I actually played with the uh, B flat in bass usually. So um, I have a walking bass here from another, sorry, not a walking bass, a uh, passing tone kind of bass. So that's six, five, five, four. Then I played a melody F sharp to G slide, bridge over to C. B flat, leave it here. In chord melody, we want to keep things ringing, and so it kind of flows together. It sounds like two guitars. And then I have my uh, E flat nine chord now. <coughs> so here's the E flat. We have this with the C nine in the beginning. E flat, the same thing. So you move it up as long as you know your root. Um, 10, 11, 10, 11. Strum this twice. And the second two uh, bars, A flat, it's kind of a repetition now, but with different voicings. A flat six here, six, here's the A flat, eight, six, eight. First the bass note, then the chord follows, because the melody is on beat one end. That's seven, 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 triplet, C diminished, that's eight, seven, eight, seven. Strum one more time. D half diminished. We have a 2 5 now in C minor. That's D half diminished. 5 6 5 6. And you see, this chord was a ninth chord, a dominant chord before, and now it's a half diminished. It's the exact same voicing. I have a blues video on that where I explain that phenomenon. It's, uh, it would be a B flat 9 chord if this were the root. But this is the root now, and so it's also D half diminished. It is actually a D half diminished. Okay, five, six, five, six. Now first the bass note, then the red, then the whole chord. Six, four, three, and G seven flat nine is a B diminished. C. G nine would be B half diminished, and G seven flat nine is B diminished, fully diminished. So that's um, B, F, uh, A flat, and D. And here is your virtual G7 flat 9 root. Okay. So I strum this twice. Usually, I first, fir the first time I play it, I, I, I pluck the strings, and the second time, usually, I strum through it. Because the second time, it's just a fill. First time is the melody, and the second time is a fill. So I strum this. Also, it's more comfortable. All right, and here is the uh, entire B section at slow tempo. Three, four. If you 
you want to keep the free video tutorials on this channel running, please consider supporting the channel. You can do so by becoming a member and join Neat Perks. And all you have to do is click the join button right next to the subscribe button to see the available options there are. There are actually two options. So scroll a little down to see the second options. And uh, you'll get Neat Perks for it. And thanks a lot. Please give this video a fat thumbs up if you liked it. Please share the love and the knowledge and I hope to see you next week. Servus, baba.